One question that is often asked, is it possible to overcompact the soil? To answer this, we again draw on the Proctor curves for different compactive efforts. If a soil is compacted dry of optimum, as shown at point 1, it exceeds, in this case, the minimum specified dry density of 95% of the maximum dry density. If, however, the contractor continues to compact, the soil's dry density increases while the moisture content remains the same as shown at point 2. The soil is now on the wet side of optimum on the higher compactive energy curve. Soils compacted on the wet side of the optimum moisture content are less stable, thus leading us to the conclusion that compaction should cease when the specified dry density is achieved.